Hi, this is Nancy, the team librarian at the Bible Public Library, and today is Star Wars Day, because today is May the 4th be with you. So in honor of that, as a huge Star Wars fan, we are making Korg nesting dolls. Last year on Star Wars Day, myself and a coworker um, showed some of our library teens how to make Baby Yoda. And so this year, we are going to be making some Korgs. So what I did is I bought some nesting dolls. And for those that signed up for the kit at the library, you will get a set of five little wooden figurines. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to show you how to make a cord. So last night I went ahead and I pre-painted um, the outside. You want to give it a white um, you know, background so that a white base so that way you can paint on top of it. So um, go ahead and when you have a set, go ahead and create the, the white so that way you can build your paints on top of it. So the next step after you have the white base is you are going to decide the colors. Now, for the little corgs in the movie, you can see that they varied in color. Um, a lot of them have brown, gray, sometimes even black with a white belly, um, and then they'd have color around their little eyes. So as you can see from these examples, I did brown with yellow and orange, and there's some little examples over by Yoda that show um, gray and um, black. So what I'm going to do for this one is I am going to start with black, and I'm going to do orange as the little feathers around the eyes on the cord. So I am going to pour myself some black paint because the materials that you are going to need are obviously the paints, you know, white, black, orange, brown, gray, yellow, um, white if I didn't mention that already. Um, you're going to need several paint brushes. I have different sizes, the sponge brush, the little ones, and you also are going to need a black Sharpie um, because that will help with the precise eye placement. So to start off, because I said that I'm going to go and do black feathers, I am going to pour black in a disposable cup and I'm going to use one of my sponge brushes and I'm going to go ahead and start applying it towards the top and then down the sides. Here, I'm going to have to seal this tighter. There we go, because you want it to be completely sealed so that way the paint matches. So you're going down the sides, just doing a dabbing motion. side. Now you can see on my samples, I did not do the back. You can see my little guy here. I did the sides. You're welcome to do the back. I just didn't for my sample earlier. And I'm not going to be doing it for the video now just because of time restraints. But when you are creating it, um, feel free to, to do the whole back if you'd like. But for now, I'm just doing the top and the sides. So just depending on how far you want the feathers to come out, you want it to where you see the feathers when, you're, when it's facing forward. You don't want to do it straight um, because then you wouldn't see the feathers. So just remember to extend it somewhat outward on the sides, especially towards the middle and the back. Okay, there are my black feathers. 
feathers. And now I want to do orange. You can see on this guy, I have a little bit of orange here. And you can vary it up because you can see with this um, one, I did the yellow all the way across in here. I just did orange on the sides. It's up to you. A lot of this is um, how you want it to look. I mean, there's no right or wrong way on your cords on creating the feathers because um, every animal is different. So make sure when you are painting, you have something to clean right next to you. So I'm gonna wash my hands because I'd hate to mess up my little porg. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do my little orange right around here. Oh, you can see I spilled a little bit, but because I did black, I can just paint over with the black to cover up that little drop. And with anything, you can go back and you can adjust things, you know, do it layer by layer. Just like you started with white, you know, letting that dry, you might need to let some of your layers dry. Um, but if you're creating five, I'm just doing one for the video, you'll have time to let it dry while another one is, while you're painting another one. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that little mistake that I made. here to even it out. Okay, now it is time for my eyes. Um, I happen to have a little sponge tool that I'm going to use for the eyes. So I'm going to be using this black again. Um, it, you might not have this type of tool, so you can just use a regular paintbrush. Um, to create the circles for the eyes. But because I do have a tool, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. And even with a circle, it's not super precise. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit this way so that way I can work more carefully on it. If you have a cork at home, um, that might be helpful. You can dip the cork in the black paint, so that way you can get a perfect circle, because you can see even with this sponge, it's you know more like an oval than anything. Uh, these aren't very precise right now, but like I said, you can go back and adjust your painting you know, as you're working on it, because you can start working on another pour, let this one dry, and then come back and make final adjustments. Not perfect, but we're gonna stop there. Um, I can't do it right now, but to get that white in the middle, um, normally you'd have to let it dry first. What you should do is you should get a little bit of white paint. You just, you know, like for example, you pour the white paint on your plate, you dip the bottom of your paintbrush in it, and then you do that to get the white dots. So um, with your paintbrush, you can actually see got white here from when I previously did that. So that's how you get the white in the middle. And then the last step is we are going to create the nose and the mouth of the porg. And porgs always look like they are a little grumpy or even a little sad. So we're going to get those nostrils in and then we're going to get their little frowny face in. So that is just a quick video on how to create your porgs. This one isn't completely done um, because like I said, you'd have to get the, you know, let it dry before you get that, those white dots in. 
but I hope that this gave you a nice tutorial on how to create some darling porgs to celebrate today, um, Star Wars Day. And the last thing that I want to remind you is read. This is the way.